So this next item here kind of speaks to the power of pop culture in changing values. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Rob, also known as Chesapeake Picker. If this is your first time here, I'm a part-time reseller uh, based out of Virginia. I sell on eBay, Mercari, and some Facebook Marketplace as well. Currently, it is Tuesday. I got some things going out. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. First thing I picked up, it's this vintage jacket. This is a Fieldmaster jacket. Pretty heavy duty. There's nothing really special about it. I almost didn't pick it up, but you know, sold comps on them were decent. It was $6.99 at a Goodwill, which is probably a little pricey, but it did sell for $25 plus shipping. All right, this next item up is a viewer sale, and as far as I know, it's my first one. He didn't leave a comment, but I know this username. Uh, this is a Jeff Can Thrift. Um, he's been following this YouTube channel since the beginning. Um, also on my, um, also he's always dropping comments on my Instagram and stuff too. So thanks a lot, Jeff. Jeff's a fellow reseller. Uh, I got this Foreigner Double Vision uh, vinyl album. Had this sitting around for a while. Uh, this came in a big old lot of stuff that I got. I think I picked this up at a garage sale for like a buck. So I'm not making a ton of money on it, but it did go out for $8.99 plus shipping. I just picked up this Halo graphic novel um, about a week ago at the thrift store. Um, excellent condition. It's like new. Um, I got it, it was spent up on it for $3.98. Sold comps on this were really good, um, but it sold for $20 with free shipping. Um, this should cost $3.33 to ship this guy out. Before I move on to the next sale, the reason I personally don't mind spending up on some stuff like this, so I spent $3.00. I spent four dollars to get it. I'm gonna spend three something to send it out. That takes me takes my total down. I'm already down about eight bucks. Plus, after the fee is gonna eat up a couple bucks. Am I still more than doubling, tripling my money? Yes. Um, some things I would say do that with. Some things I wouldn't. I would say do that with something like this because the sold comps on this were excellent. So this had about a 200% sell-through rate when I looked it up, which means I don't know how many there were, but you know, say that there was 20 listings up and 40 had sold in the last 90 days. And that means that you're, they're selling through a lot more than they're getting listed and that you're guaranteed to make that money. So this was not gonna sit on my shelf for a really long time. So I didn't mind spending up on it. I probably wouldn't have spent more than five on it to be honest, but still a nice little sale. Next up, I got this little Ziggy plush doll. It's like a happy Valentine's Day. Little pillow says, I love you. Um, I got this at a CHKD thrift store for 36 cents. It was a, probably a 20% off sales. why it's so cheap there. Um, and it sold for $9.50 plus shipping. And this guy, I'll put him in a box since he's got the little hat and the pillow and I don't want it to get squished. So this will go in an 8 by 6 by 4 box. Buyer's $14.25 all in. So this next item here kind of speaks to the power of pop culture in changing values. So I got three books here. These are Star Wars soft cover books that I've had since they came out in the 90s. When I first started reselling, I was looking for stuff around the house just to put up and things like that, just to kind of get things moving again, because it's been a while since I've been out of the game. And uh, so I went off my bookshelf and I figured I'd take some stuff. So I scanned all these books individually and uh, looking in lots, and they were all but worthless, like $4 with free shipping, um, you know, two eighty dollars to ship out, not really worth it. So The Mandalorian has come out now, and The Mandalorian's a huge hit. If you, I'm sure that most of you guys have watched it or at least heard of Baby Yoda. So what I got here is The Mandalorian Armor, Hard Merchandise, Slave Ship. These are a three book series of Star Wars called The Bounty Hunter Wars. So now that that's a big hit, these are all of a sudden worthwhile. So I decided to go ahead and take a look and see if the value had come up. These guys sold for $25 plus shipping and they sold in about two days. All right guys, now it is Wednesday. I got uh, seven more things going out. First thing I got up here is this uh, beer tap. This is uh, an October Marzen Pauliner Munchen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so I picked this up. Uh, I don't have much into this, maybe a couple bucks. Sometimes these things can be um, kind of pricey at thrift stores and stuff when I see them. This one in particular, if you can see on the back, it's cracked. So I wasn't sure if this thing would sell or not. So I priced it down a lot lower than some of the other ones were. 
but it still went out for $45 plus shipping. This is going out with the global shipping program. So just to get this to Kentucky, the buyer is $54 in and then whatever they have to pay to have it shipped to wherever it's going. Got three more DVDs going out. Uh, nothing special on these titles to show you. Next item up is back here on my display rack. So this one here is this Woodland Santa. I got a whole bunch of these for like a buck a piece at a garage sale. Um, sold a couple of them, or I think three of them have sold. I still have, I still have two more left. They're all a little bit different than each other. This guy's kind of cool. He's got this little wooden uh, sled, a little horse, basket, all that stuff. It's an 18 inch tall figure all in. And this guy sold for $15 plus shipping. Buyer is just under $28 invested on this. And then I got two lots of these little guys here. These are the uh, California Raisins. I got a whole ton of these in a big old bag of stuff for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. I've sold a whole bunch of these. Um, they go out for varying prices, various size lots. I lotted them up. Um, I had them up for $9.99 or best offer with free shipping. I got one that made an offer of seven and another one for $7.99. So those are both gonna go out today as well. And they, they're identical. Got a couple of viewer questions I was gonna answer here. This first one is from Petro Family Inc. They asked me if I was in a uh, buyer request in uh, media mail hell with everything that's going on with the mail process right now. And yes, that answer, <laughs> that's a, that's a resounding yes. I got so many packages that have not been scanned as of recently and not going out. I've opened up multiple inquiries. I actually copied and pasted the email that I got sent from the post office on one of them. And it's just a big long winded thing talking about the pandemic and how they're working shorthanded and how they're doing the best to get everything up and moving again. When somebody sends me a follow up uh, question about that after it's already been sent out, I just copy paste that and I send it out to them and say, Hey, this is what I'm getting from the post office. So so far, everybody's been pretty cool with it. I'm actually getting around right after I film this part of the video and I'm going to, uh, you can do first, you can do a missing mail search. And then if that's not resolved, you can do another locator after that's like the next step. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on probably about four or five packages that I have outstanding, but it has been a challenge, especially considering I have books and stuff that I've sent out as of this past Saturday that have already been delivered. So it's a bit frustrating when you have stuff you sent out like December 4th through the 15th that is still sitting in limbo somewhere. And then other stuff you sent out on December 28th that's already been delivered. But, you know, whatever we're going to do, we're all in this together. And until this gets resolved, it's going to be challenging. And uh, Smote911 asked about my storage. He said he saw this thing, move you over here off to the side and asked me about how I store my boxes. So I, I, when I used to have this thing inside in the house when I was still filming in my living room. And, uh, but basically this thing right here is just a futon frame that broke. So I used to have a, a pretty nice wooden futon and the kids jumped on it and they broke it. And uh, I was getting ready to haul it out. And I just kind of looked at it and I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. So I used to have it out vertical on the, I used to have it out horizontal on a table and I just had them in there sliding and then to make some extra room when I put up this move it over here so I got the back part of it here and then I got the uh, other part of it here and I just slide the boxes in there that does a pretty good job storing all of those I don't know if I'd recommend going out and buying a futon and breaking it to make that work but it was a nice creative solution for me I'm not sure what the pronunciation of this is supposed to be, but this question came from Moburn MD. They asked me if I had any tips on getting the free shipping supplies that you get quarterly through eBay when you have a store that they used to get emails and now they don't. So yeah, I don't get any emails on that either. You just kind of have to remember that it's quarterly. Just go into your seller dashboard, go into that uh, promotions area, and then you can see when you have one eligible. It'll tell you, it'll always be up there towards the top. And if you click on it, it'll tell you if it's redeemed or not, if it's time. It is, I'm not sure if it's exactly time yet, but it's definitely coming up because we are ending Q4 and 
heading on over into Q1 of 2021. So if you know if you have if you're not taking advantage of that or if you're on the fence on whether or not you should open an eBay store because of the cost so you know you can list a lot of stuff for free on eBay right now like a, at least 100 items and stuff like that not pay any fees but you're paying more on that upfront part so it might cost you a quarter 50 cents whatever to list stuff where it's only going to cost you like 10 15 cents um, if you're listing and you have a store, after you add all those fees, if you're going to have a few hundred things listed, you're going to actually make back that money just on your insertion fees. If you're going over their limits, you know, if you're under, you, if you're only around a hundred listings, you probably don't need a store, but you also get the reduced final value fees. You get the shipping discounts and all that stuff that kind of add up. And then on top of it, you get that. So I have a premium store myself, which means four times a year, I get a $50 um, gift card basically from eBay to use to buy stuff. I use that mostly for tape. I tend to get my bubble mailers and stuff elsewhere. Um, sometimes I'll get some boxes like I got for the Q4 when I bought these, uh, record boxes and stuff that were on there so it was like 50 bucks for i don't know 50 of them or whatever it worked out to and then i in q3 all i got i think was tape and i still have nine rolls of tape left so i may end up getting some of that on this next one it tends to go pretty far the ebay tape is not the best tape um, so most of the time i'm packing stuff up i double tape over every seam on boxes because if you don't hold that pressure down on it for a minute because it's kind of heat activated, um, it'll just peel right back up on you. But if you do hold down on it for a minute, maybe not a whole minute, but if you hold down on it a few seconds, it will activate and stick a little better. But when I'm packing stuff up, especially if it's something bigger, heavier, I just double it up and I'm getting it basically for free. So, I mean, I know I could use that money elsewhere, but luckily with my job, I get a whole lot of shipping supplies for free from work. And then also my wife likes to buy a whole lot of things. So I'm always getting Amazon boxes and other stuff in the mail too. All right, guys, that's it on this one. Thanks for checking out the channel. As always, please remember, hit that like button and subscribe down below. I am now over 500 subscribers, which is awesome, considering I was only at 160 subscribers about a week and a half ago. So thank you, guys, everybody. It's really appreciated. Helps me to continue to grow this channel. If there's anything you want to see in an upcoming video, please let me know. I am going to get some thrifting video up soon after I actually have something worth showing you guys. I've been out and recorded myself thrift store shopping, but all I'm really finding are, are books. And I don't think thrifting books is something that's really exciting unless you want to see how I pick my books and stuff out. There'll probably be some of that in there, but I'm not really finding anything too exciting at the stores lately. Once after everybody starts donating all their stuff to make clearance for their new items, I think thrift stores are really going to bump up in January and we're going to be able to get a lot of good pickups. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time.